Uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I come to you this evening from Dale, Indiana. That's the reaction that you, oh, all right. That never gets that reaction, okay. Uh, Dale, uh, for those of you who don't know, is a, a very small town in very southern Indiana. And like most small towns, it's a little bit different. Um, like our funeral director is also the taxidermist. Sometimes he gets confused. <laughs> like at my grandfather's funeral, Gramps was like this. <laughs> the police department keeps office hours. It's like Dale, Indiana, tough on crime, till six. <laughs> got places we gotta be. They're trying to get more serious about it, though. The city increased the budget. They were actually able to double the size of the, of the police force. And, uh, the new guy's name is Scott. It's nice. It's nice. The city purchased an unmarked police car. I don't know who they're trying to fool with that thing. We, we all see Scott driving it. It's ridiculous. Still, you couldn't have a show like Law & Order set there, though. You like Law & Order, Dale. Do you have a description of the suspect? Yeah, it was Earl. <laughs> <laughs> the only suspense in the whole show would be, was it Big Earl or Little Earl? Not a lot to do over home, so I do watch a lot of television, which is okay because we've got uh, uh, direct TV. Actually, again, full disclosure, uh, we actually spliced into the neighbor's satellite. <laughs> um, so what we have is indirect TV. <laughs> My favorite right now are the, the cooking channels, the, the Food Network. Except for they always have these world famous chefs on there and they always ask them that same question. How did you become a world famous chef? And they all give that same answer. Oh, I fell in love with food at a very early age. <laughs> like the rest of us were all growing up like boo food. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite show right now though on there is Chopped. You know what I'm talking about, Chopped? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. For those of you who don't know, Chopped is a show where they, they bring these chefs on and they give them four ingredients that don't have anything to do with each other and then tell them to make a dish that makes sense. You know, like, chefs, in your basket, you will find lemon soda, broccoli, Tic Tacs, and sea bass. Make dessert. <laughs> and you always got that one guy who's like, as soon as I saw the sea bass, I thought ice cream. <laughs> why, why would you, why? <laughs> I also watch, I also watch the Science Channel a lot, shocker. Uh, and I was watching this show on there the other day. A scientist discovered this guy. He was mummified when he was trapped by a glacier 5,000 years ago. And now they're basing everything they know about what people wore, what they ate, and how they lived in that area at that time on this one guy. I don't know about you guys, but 5,000 years from now, I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> I mean, what if it's Halloween when I get run over by the glacier? <laughs> and because of me, they think we all lived on candy. We all dressed like Miley Cyrus. <laughs> it was a party in the USA, I'll tell you. You know, uh, of course, the worst part about watching television is the commercials, like uh, you've seen the one for Golden Corral. 
for just $3 more, you can take home absolutely all the food you can fit in a plate this big. We get more than that in my wife's purse now. <laughs> I think the, the commercials that have been bothering me the most uh, over the last few years though are these Discover Card commercials. Discover Card, we treat you like you'd treat you. I wouldn't charge me 23.5% interest. <laughs> Oh, you guys have been amazing. Uh, but before I get out of here, I want to make sure I don't want to leave you with the wrong impression uh, about my hometown. Now, I've said some things about Dale, but even though it is a small town, we have made our contributions uh, to society. Uh, Florence Henderson, who played the mom on the Brady Bunch. Yeah, yeah she was born in Dale. And um, that's it. That's, that's, that's all I want. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Actually, just by being on this stage right now, I'm already the second most famous person from Dale, Indiana. Thank you, everybody. You've been amazing.